Hello everyone and welcome to Frame 316 Media. This channel is all about helping you tell better stories and helping you grow your brands through video, specifically YouTube and storytelling. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about promotional video ideas for small business marketing. So if you are a small business owner and you want to embark on a, a video campaign or video marketing strategy, this episode is for you. So stay tuned and watch this coming up. I have been talking about video and storytelling and editing and design on this channel for like ages now and we're not a big channel but um, we're doing the job I think you know well enough as we are receiving um, messages and emails from people that we don't really know and telling us that we were able to help them in their videos uh, or in their business uh, using videos and part of what um, we are providing or you know the, the, the value that we add to these uh, business owners is you know helping them come up with videos with the least possible what they call this using the least possible resources you know small business owners not many of you guys not many of us you know can afford videos videos are expensive we need videos but videos are expensive so i'm here to talk about you know a bit of ideas and insights on how you can do this uh, from where you are right now like starting today okay first before i jump into that i want to talk about a few uh, uh concepts first and foremost what are you promoting so the problem with companies right now big and small is that um, they keep promoting how good they are as a company instead of uh, promoting why something is valuable for the uh, target audience so human beings are easily captivated by the why in everything we do stick to the why start with why so you know figure out you know go back read your or review all your campaigns your social media posts what am i talking about am i just talking about myself or am i talking about the value that i can give to my uh, customers my target audience you know second keep it short and snappy uh, you can always go for 15 seconds uh, 30 seconds and 45 seconds and no longer the whole world is busy and we don't have time to watch um videos you know long videos just to convince us you know just to convince people to buy from you or to buy from us so keep it short and snappy and how do you do this next is you need to focus on one thing <laughs> um, a lot of companies um this is where most of them fail you know they tend to talk about a lot of things and insert it in a short five minute video five minute video is not short okay <laughs> i just want to uh, bring it out there example are you a real estate agent on one video focus on the real estate trends on another video focus on customer experience on another video focus on let's say a, a house tour you know those are types of promotional videos that you can do if you're a real estate agent and you know if, if you need help uh, on a specific area and like, like in your niche you can always reach out to us and and we will be glad to help you and next you should avoid the spectacular so what do i mean by avoiding the spectacular this um you want to be uh, straight to the point you don't have tons of money to pay amazing videographers you don't have tons of time to focus on video editing and you don't have practically you don't have time if you're a small business owner you know and um if you would be that brand or that person who wants like i want my video to be spectacular that would take you a lot of time dude so just just focus on small things you know just bring it out there and see what happens and yeah just make it simple that's that's like the the rule of the game right now and lastly promotion is not about selling you know promotion is about um trying to establish connections and valuable connections are made by adding value to the customers and also of course sharing value and the longevity of doing business with people depends on uh, the level of trust and comfort that your customer can get from you okay so remember that promotion you know avoid selling on your promotion practically that's what i want to say if you're going to do uh, promotional videos stop selling and uh you know you can i mean you can massage it in the call to action or in, in in the caption part of your video if you upload it on youtube or facebook but the point is 
If you're gonna sell for 15 seconds, no one's gonna watch. That's it, no one's gonna watch you. Okay, so what type of promotional videos can you do? First, you can do uh, how to videos. You know, you show people how something is done quickly. Now, people love to go to YouTube to find out how something is done and how something is made. And if you are that business who can do this for them, definitely you can, you know, you get on their radar and the next time that they're willing to pay or the next time that they have extra resources to get uh, someone to do it for them, you're the first on their list. So next type of video is an interview snippets. I, I, I discussed this a bit on our previous video, but if you get invited on a Zoom meeting, you know, someone would invite you and ask you and have, you know, like even random discussions about business and asking you how, how your business is, what your business is all about. You can you know, get chunks of those interview snippets and upload it, upload it as a promotional video and that would help a lot. Third, you can do new products and new service launch. So if you have a new product or a new service, uh, get your smartphone and introduce that to your audience. As simple as that. I mean, you can do it in 30 seconds uh, for sure. Uh, next type of video that you can do is a customer video. This can be testimonial, feedback, or just any type of interactions that um, you have with your customers. The next one is the animated explainer videos. This is probably the most challenging for small business owners because animation is not cheap. But uh, there's a lot of options for you out there that you can really use and, and help you. Example, Stoonly is a bit, you know, it's, it's affordable. You can get the, like the whiteboard uh, animation. A lot of people are doing that. If you want to you know, show like a process, and um, I mean, definitely you need extra budget for this. But once in, in your that space, you can consider adding those animations you know, to have a variety uh, with the videos that you are doing next. This is a bit powerful. Uh, PowerPoint plus voiceover. <laughs> so uh, if you think you're not brave enough to, be, to face the camera and do videos, <laughs> you can actually go through a PowerPoint slide while talking in a microphone, even your smartphone's microphone. And that would be a good video to start with. And um, I have something like that, so you can see the link in, in the screen right now, uh, where I specifically discuss what type of videos you can do without showing your face. So jump on it if you want to uh, find out more about that. And the next type of video is announcements. Okay, so most companies have a lot of like announcement here and there. Why not do it in the form of a video? Make it fun, make it engaging, make it you know speak about your brand. If your brand is like the the, the fun you know uh, quirky quirky uh, brand, you can uh, really use your smartphone and do the announcement on your uh, as a video. And lastly, you can do you can do um, blogs to videos. If you have a website. You have a blog. If you don't have a blog, you should start writing blogs. And once you have that blog, an average of, let's say, 500 words per blog, that can lead to a lot of videos, you know, video snippets as a series where, you know, you just read about that or talk about it in a different perspective in front of a camera. Then you end up with the promotional videos, okay? As I've mentioned, uh, promotional videos are not about selling. You know, it's about creating the most helpful, valuable, and engaging content for your customers. And the more you do all these videos, the more you are actually literally promoting your brand and not like just selling. I always say, you know, selling is transactional. Yeah, you get the sales, you know, you get the money in the bank. But if you're not going to do all this, you know, creative fun stuff like being using storytelling, you know, creating authentic and engaging media, um selling won't not i mean it won't help you that much in the long term so you should have a balance of both so i hope you're getting any value you're getting value out of this video and if you do please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and it's time for you to grow it's time to go to work see you in my next videos